Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram, where I also talk about perfume, but it's slightly different content. Having a blast over there, I hit 500 on TikTok. I also started doing IGTV. Instead of posting my TikToks on my Instagram story, like I had been, I started putting them on IGTV, so they come up as regular posts. So if you're not on TikTok, you can watch my TikTok reviews on Instagram. Today, I am coming back to you with a tier list review. I'm circling back on my fragrance hauls for the last couple months or so. So this is a new series that I started and I have a lot to cover today. So at the top of the list, we have, does it come in a five ounce bottle? That means I love it. It is fabulous. It's beautiful. It's everything I want. I want to wear it all the time. Best. Next, we have put her in the rotation. So this is a solid one that I really like. It may not be groundbreaking. It may be good, but it's good enough to be a regular rotation. Next, we've got meh, which is kind of self-explanatory. It may be something that I still want to keep because I like it okay enough, but it's not really, it's not really, it's not really doing it for me for some reason. So we've got some mess in here today. Then we've got between meh and scrubber because I don't know. Um, so this is not good. This is this is not good, and it's not quite a scrubber though. It's just not liking it too much. But then we have the scrubbers, which are the worst. And I actually don't come across that many that I've put into that category. Only a couple, and I've this is only I think my third tier list video. So we'll see what we come up with this time. But So I'm going to start with one that I decluttered because it was a between mint and scrubber. And that was Montal Powder Flowers. So this was super duper powdery. That's the only way I could describe it. It was like Johnson's Baby Powder. It reminded me of babysitting when I was a teenager in the 80s. It just was like so incredibly powdery. I just really didn't care for it. So I did sell that one. That's a goner. The next one I have is from Chariol, which is a Swiss jeweler. And this is called Infinite Celtic. And I really like this one. This is a solid rotation. It's a floral fruity. It's nothing like super, super unique, but I just like the way it smells. It's, you know, it might be a little cloying or a little syrupy, but I, I dig it. So I'm keeping Infinite Celtic. This is gonna be a great one for fall. I do like this. I have to give a little smell because I forget how they smell. So this is Aura from Loewe, which is a Spanish designer. This smells really good. This is, ooh, this is pretty. So this has got a vintage vibe. It's a little floral. It's a little ambery, a little spicy, very pretty. So this one is solid rotation. I like this one. And this is my first one from Loewe. Next is another one that I declutter. This is from Molinard and this is called Rose. And this one I put into the I put this one into the meh category because it wasn't awful, but it was very similar to other rose fragrances that I have. I got a really good deal on it, so I didn't too, I didn't feel too bad about decluttering it, but it just didn't really work for me. It was not bad, and and I'm I'm starting to question if it really was a meh or if it was just a matter of I have too many fragrances that are similar to it. I don't know, but we'll leave it at meh for now. But Molinard Rose mm, didn't do too much for me, but it's not horrible. Next, we've got Vanille Patchouli from Molinard, and this is a solid rotation. I really like these two, and so then I also have Vanille from Molinard. So I like these two, both solid rotation. I thought it was really cute having all three of them with the rose, but like I said, the rose just was very redundant for me. So I do like both of these. They are solid rotation-worthy fragrances. You know, it's a nice vanilla, and then it's a nice vanilla with some patchouli. You know, they're not super, um, they're not super incredibly unique, but they're both very nice and very wearable in my humble opinion. This is one that has taken up solid residence on my husband's shelf. This is from Banana Republic and it's called Black Platinum. And this is a very um, nice gender neutral fragrance. It just seems to suit him more than it does me. It's a nice herbaceous, kind of fresh, spicy, Nice, really nice. I might pick this up occasionally, but this is a solid rotation. And like I said, this is on the husband's shelf so he can enjoy it. 
and I can enjoy it on him. Next, we've got Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Eau Fresh, backwards. And this is a very beautiful summer fragrance, solid rotation. Um, it's so delicious and beachy, but it's got this kind of fresh vibe too. It's gorgeous. I really like this one. I got this one at the cosmetic company store and a very good deal. I can't remember. It was very cheap. Like I want to say it was less than $20 and I really like this. So this is a great summer fragrance and I'm happy that I found this for a good deal. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Eau Fresh. This is Valentino Born in Roma from Valentino. And this is an unpopular opinion, but I'm putting this in matte. Not because it's bad. I don't hate it. I used Ulta points for this, um, but it smells like so many other things I already have. It reminds me of Flower Bomb Nectar that I have. It reminds me of some La Vie Belle. I don't have a La Vie Belle, but it does remind me of that. So this is a very popular kind of DNA, kind of the pink DNA, and I don't hate it. I will wear this, and I think the bottle is really pretty but it's a little bit meh for me because it's just become a very ubiquitous fragrance DNA. That's the only way I can really describe it. It's just super popular, pretty, um, not bad, people pleasing. It's kind of a fruity floral with a little patchouli in the background and some vanilla. So it's, it's a nice composition, it's not bad. How many times can I say it's not bad? I think you get it. Pineapple from Gallagher. And this is a beautiful, fresh, perfect for summer, a very fresh, fruity floral. I really like this one. This is a solid rotation. I kind of wish I would have gotten a bigger bottle. Love it. Um, doesn't quite get to the five ounce for me, but I think this is awesome for summer. It's unique. It's pretty. It's got interesting notes and definitely a keeper ordered that one. I also ordered the popular Rosé All Day, which is a popular gourmand. And this one, I got to put this one in the five ounce category because I, I love this. This is beautiful, charming, different, unique. I guess different and unique are kind of the same thing. <laughs> this one has kind of a slight apple pie kind of essence to it. It's spicy. It's delicious. It's not too sweet though. It's got those warm spices. It's, um, you get some kind of maybe cloves. I don't know, but I definitely love Rosé all day. I'm not sure the family is going to enjoy this one, but I really do. So this one I'm giving the top tier. This is Versace Dylan Blue. I'm putting this in the rotation. This is nothing super, super extravagant. Um, it's kind of a shampoo-y vibe. It's kind of a shampoo-y vibe. It's really pretty. It's refreshing. It's, it's a clean smell. It's a little bit fruity. You get some apple in here and I love the bottle. So this is a solid rotation for me. It's, um, it's a strong, like, I wouldn't say this is a love, but I find this like a really nice, easy reach for summer. So, and it layers with a lot of different Bath and Body Works products. So I do like this Versace Dylan Blue. We've got Trussardi Donna. This is the Eau de Parfum. This one is really having a moment. It's very popular. I think for good reason. This is a solid rotation. I think the bottle's really cool. Um, very pretty floral. It's a gorgeous floral to me. Um, this is perfect for the springtime, but th but this would also work really well in summer. So this is a solid rotation. Trussardi Donna Eau de Parfum. This is Gold Amber Nights from Jesus Del Pozo. This is from um, Del Pozo's Middle Eastern line. I have one called Cashmere Bouquet Nights from this same line. And this one is sitting on my husband's shelf currently, but this is gender neutral. It's really pretty. And I think this is one we're gonna share. It's deep, it's rich, it's intoxicating. It's another gorgeous bottle. Definitely get resins and it's definitely leaning masculine, quote unquote. And so for that reason, I am going to leave it on the husband's shelf. And I would say this is a solid rotation. Very beautiful. From Fleur, this is Olmsted and Vaux. I got this on half price. I got this half price on Sephora's website. I think it's still there for half price. I did a TikTok on this. If you want to check that out on TikTok or Instagram, this is a really nice one. It's, this one has interesting notes. It's got shiso leaf, ginger. I can't remember what else, but it's super refreshing, herbaceous, very green, very aromatic. And I like this. This is gender neutral. This is in the rotation for sure. And I think it's a beautiful ceramic bottle, kind of minimalistic, nice magnetic cap. It's good. 
and Fleur is an American niche house. From Michael Kors, we have Starlight Shimmer. This was another cosmetic company store find. It's pretty, it's in the rotation. Strong like, not a love. Not incredibly unique. It's a nice fruity floral. So I need to give this one more wear so I can really get my feelings articulated a little more eloquently on this. But like I said, I do like it. I don't necessarily love it at this point, but I need to take it for more of a spin. So that's Michael Kors Starlight Shimmer in the rotation. Next up, we've got Justin Bieber, the Key Collector's Edition. I really like this one. This one is just pretty refreshing. It's not complex, but it's definitely a solid rotation for me. I also have the original, the Key. I actually like this one a little better. This one just, um, this one's a little bit cleaner and there's a very slight kind of bite with the Key. I still like the Key, but this one's a little bit more smooth to me somehow. So that's a keeper in the rotation. Paris Hilton Siren. This is just kind of an interesting bottle. <laughs> One's in the rotation too. I do like it. I need to give it more wear, but my first impressions have been very good. And it actually reminds me of the key, <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, I like Paris Hilton Siren. I think it's been around for a while. I think the bottle's kind of cool. I think it's supposed to be kind of representative of a mermaid perhaps pretty and a solid rotation. This is Neroli from Just Jack, which is a clone for Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. This one is living on my husband's shelf. It's a very soapy, clean, fresh, nice. Um, solid rotation for the husband. I think the bottle's kind of cool. This is a 1.7 ouncer, even though when I first talked about it, I thought it was only one, but it's a very nice, clean, soapy, um, very nice, fresh out of the shower. So I like this one. I haven't had great experiences with Just Jack, but this one I do like. The house that I formerly pronounced Romeo Jiggly, <laughs> I've been told is actually pronounced Romeo Jiggly. So I did have this beautiful perfume and I gave it to one of my daughters because she liked it. It's a cool bottle. It's a pretty perfume. I would say that one would be solidly in the rotation, but I've got perfume to spare. So I'm happy to share with my kids and so I did give that one to my daughter, but would probably put it in the rotation if it were here with me right now. Next, a beautiful recommendation from the fabulous Shana J. This is Elizabeth Arden Untold Legere. This is gorgeous. I wore it recently and I really like it. It's a solid rotation. It's a clean, citrusy, um, slightly spicy. It's got like a, a, a spicy element to it. I think the bottle's really cool. It's a solid rotation. I do love this. And I had never heard of the Untold line, but I'm kind of curious now. And I think this is a keeper. So I've got some Jenny Glow. So Jenny Glow makes clones for Joe Malone. And I think they do a really good job overall. However, <laughs> this is Oak and Berries. And with these particular with the three that I'm going to be talking about, I don't think they're bad. I just don't think I probably would have liked the Joe Malone original. So this one is living on my husband's shelf. I'm giving it a meh just because it's not my cup of tea. It's really extremely woody and so I get more oak than I do berries, but it's not bad. And I like it on my husband, but um, I don't think I will be wearing this one. Next is Wood and Sage, which is a clone for Wood, Sage and Sea Salt. This one I'm also giving a meh. I, I don't think I like wood sage and sea salt that much. It just doesn't excite me very much. I mean, it's a fine freshie, it's not bad, but it, it's not very exciting or interesting to me. So um, again, this one is wood and sage from Jenny Glow and it's kind of meh to me. The last Jenny Glow I have here is lime and basil, which is a dupe for the Jo Malone mandarin orange lime and basil, I believe. And this one's also a meh just because it's not my cup of tea, not because it's bad, it's just, it's a very, it reminds me of Irish Spring soap, which is not bad. It's a good smell, but it's not something I want to smell like. So I think I'm going to put all the Jenny Glows on my husband's shelf because they're very gender neutral. Um, I really like the Blackberry and Bay one, the English Pear and Freesia. I've done a video on that one. And the Cardamom Mimosa. I love those, um, but these three just aren't doing it for me. So they're kind of meh. And of course, this is all subjective. So just my opinion. Next, we've got Fleur Fatale from Kim Kardashian. This is a nice floral. This reminds me slightly of Calvin Klein Eternity. I think I said that when I, I did the haul, but so I'm guessing it has some note crossover with Calvin Klein Eternity, which I wore a lot, by the way. 
in the late 80s and early 90s. So I like this one. This is in the rotation. Again, this is Kim Kardashian's Fleur Fatale, and it is very floral. From Comtoir Sud Pacifique, this is Aloha Tiare, and this was a blind buy, and I kind of regret it. This is kind of a meh for me just because it's so strong, I guess, for a summer for a summer fragrance, this is like, it's so strong. I need to test this out more, but it gives me a very soapy, um, slightly cloying. It's just not quite, not quite my cup of tea, not bad, but I don't know. It's just, it's too much for the summer to me. So Aloha Tiare from Comptoir Super Civic. Meh, sorry. This is my partial bottle of Shalimar Filtre, and I love this. I think this is definitely rotation worthy, and I I think it's a gorgeous spin on Shalimar, and I just got this partial bottle on Mercari. I really like this. It's, um, it's just a slightly brighter Shalimar to me. It's got the vanilla and the citrus, and I happen to really like this, and this is gonna be perfect for fall, in my opinion. This giant bottle is DKNY Summer. I believe this is a 2019 version. This was another cosmetic company store find. Very refreshing, juicy. I feel like I'm getting grapefruit. It's nice. It's a very nice, juicy, definitely in the rotation. I need to break this out more. Um, reminds me a little bit of Moschino I Love Love. It's kind of in that vein. So I think the bottle's kind of fun and I like this. So very easy reach, kind of nice fragrance even a little bit Versace Dylan Blue similarity. This is Narciso Rodriguez for her in color. So this is a flanker of Narciso Rodriguez for her. It smells very similar to the original, but this one has slightly different notes. I believe it has peach and it's got the Narciso Rodriguez DNA. It smells very similar to the original in the black bottle. And this is definitely in the rotation. Love a good Narciso Rodriguez moment. I was very happy to find this one on FragranceNet. Versace, it's yellow diamond intense. This is a nice, easy reach, nothing too complicated. Good rotation fragrance. I got it specifically to layer with another rotation fragrance, which is Ellie Saab Girl Is Now Forever. This was recommended from Amber Chantel to layer with Bath & Body Works Cherry Limeade, which is a beautiful combination. So thank you very much, Amber. I will link her channel below. Be sure to check her out. So these are both in the rotation. This one is a little bit... This one reminds me a little bit of Mon Paris from YSL because it's got that kind of pink vibe like I was talking about with Valentino Born in Roma, but it's got a little bit more fruit on the top like raspberry, which is kind of like the YSL um, Mon Paris. So this is pretty, love the bottle. And they do go nicely together. This is kind of a citrusy that just brightens this up a little bit. So it's a nice pairing. Both in the rotation. Main. This is from the Portfolio Collection and this is Royale Stallion. And this was a gift from the fabulous Alex at Among the Stars Reviews. And I will link his channel below too. This is gorgeous. This is intended to be a clone for Parfum de Marly Pegasus and it's gorgeous. And I actually did a comparison in the video where I, in the haul video where I featured this, I did a comparison and it's super close. So this one I know is on fragranceby.ca. I've been seeing it on there. It's really nice. It's just gender neutral, gorgeous deep amber, very nice in the rotation. And also um, my husband likes this one too. Another gift from the fabulous Alex. This is Beyonce Heat Seduction. And this is another really pretty amber perfume. This one's in the rotation, very soft and powdery, pretty and I think this would be a great one for layering and kind of a nice easy reach, especially in the fall. I think this one's perfect for fall. I like the bottle and thank you again to Alex for these beautiful perfumes. So that concludes my latest tier list and I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on any of these perfumes that you've experienced down in the comments. So let me know what you think. Do you agree with me or disagree with me? I always love chatting with you guys. So thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Not sure why I'm pointing over there. So I'm going to introduce my little tier list. <laughs> it's kind of a fruity floral. It's kind of a fruit. Did I mention that was Olmstead and Vogue? Mayo GD, I understand. <laughs>